Okay, everybody, final thoughts time for Age of Wonders Planetfall. And let's talk about it because this is a snappy little set collection game. Uh, it's honestly a lighter game than I was expecting. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later. Um, but while I was surprised by that, I was pleasantly surprised by it. I, I found it really enjoyable to play. Uh, I think it goes very quickly. Um, this is... Uh, a, at two players especially, this game is lightning fast. It definitely slows down a bit, uh, it, or I shouldn't say slows down, but it just takes longer when you're playing with a higher player count, and that also does affect uh, the strategy. So let's, let's talk about it. Now, the game itself, very easy to learn, gets to the table real quick, probably takes about five minutes to teach, something like that, and you're, you know, you're starting out and right away, you're taking actions, you're making moves, you're grabbing cards, and you're collecting those sets. Um, and what I find interesting is you set up this planet, and you see like, okay, there's minimum, there's going to be nine cards out here. Uh, if you play with more than um, three players, if you play four to six players, there's 12 cards out. And so you look at it and you see, oh, there's so many things. Oh, if I got this and this and this, that would be great. No, you get two cards. Each planet, you only get a maximum of two cards. And so that's definitely a choice. Like you have to really tighten up what you want to get out of each place. And you know, do I want to get uh, a lot of points here? Do I want to conserve my resources? Do I want to you know, get uh, resource generation for the future? So there's a lot of these cool little uh, decisions that you have to make, even though the mechanics of the game, like I said, very easy to learn. So, uh, with that in mind, uh, I will say, though, that uh, two players, besides just being a lot faster, or not a lot faster, but, you know, very fast, uh, it, doesn't in, it doesn't quite interact with the most interesting mechanic as well as it does with three up to six. Uh, and that is, you know, just the fact of getting in each other's way. With... Uh, with two players, you've got nine cards, you're going to pick four of them, which means five cards just don't get picked. With three players, uh, you know, that's, you know, nine, you've got six cards, so now only three cards aren't getting picked, which means it's likely that someone's going to take something you want, which means that you now have to think about the order in which you take things a little bit more. Because if you take something that's on the higher levels, that means it's more likely that you're going to go first for the next grab. And... Uh, but, but, or sorry, I should say, but, uh, it also means that what you're grabbing is a little bit less valuable because the lower levels that are the, you know, level two, level three cards, those tend to be cheaper or more valuable. So it's constant, you know, push and pull of like, if I grab this, I mean, sure, I'm going to go first next turn, but that means that I won't necessarily be able to grab what I want. Maybe someone else is going to take something that else that I want. Or uh, maybe I grab something lower. You know, I, I won't go first, but I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that I'm going to get what I want right now. And then we'll just sort of see what's left on the next poll. Or maybe on the second poll, you want to make sure that you're going first on the next planet. So you'll grab something on the high, on the, on the level one cards, really just to make sure that you have good positioning when the next planet's cards flip up, so you can grab something you want. So that kind of positioning mechanic I really like. I think that is uh, a solid thing, but it really only kicks in at, I think, three or four, uh, you know, three players or higher, I should say. And with six players, uh, you know, that's maybe maybe a little too much with six players because, you know, there's going to be no cards left at the end of a round. So, you know, the last player, they're kind of, well, no, I shouldn't say that they're, that's always going to be the case because there are always operations that you can take. Um, or not always, but uh, operations are a choice which are not card dependent. And that means that, you know, most likely every round uh, you're either going to have no cards or just one or two cards left at the end of a six-player uh, game. So there's just a lot uh, to think about with that. Um, six, I haven't played it at, at, you know, five or six players, uh, so I, I, I can't say for sure. It does feel like that might end up being just a little bit, uh, a little bit much, but hard to say. I, I, I think that the sweet spot though is probably gonna be three to four. I think that gives a good mix of getting in each other's faces, but also, um, you know, allowing you some choice with, with what you wanna get. So you can build the kind of, uh, you know, collection that you're going for. Now, let's talk about the source material, which is Age of Wonders Planetfall, which is a video game. And uh, this game, doesn't really feel like that. I'm going to be honest about that because 
So I've played Age of Wonders Planet Fall. It's not my favorite. I, I really like Civilization games. For some reason, I kind of bounced off that one. Um, but it does, I know a lot of people do really like it. And it is a cool sci-fi 4X game with some like tactical combat in it as well. And this is a uh, quick uh, set collection game with cards. And so it doesn't really feel like you're playing the video game. Uh, there's definite connections visually to all the stuff, you know, all of the, the enemies that you're facing, all the factions you're playing as, they do visually look like what you're going for. I think the text uh, map out to some of the same text that you find in the game and all that stuff. These things are found there, you know, but beyond being more of just set dressing, I don't know that it really uh, will scratch that itch for people who really like the video game that it's based on. Now, I didn't mind that because I did really enjoy the way that I, I, I enjoyed what this game was. You know, it's got light set collection. It's got some end game scoring stuff that everyone can go for, some that you can pick up. You know, it, I really enjoyed that. But if you've got your heart set on a big 4X experience uh, based on this game, that's not quite what you're getting here. So you do need to know that. Um, but like I said... I didn't mind. I liked what this did provide. And I will say that the factions do feel like they connect uh, to the game itself. You know, everything else could be anything. This could be trading in the Mediterranean. This could be running a bakery, whatever. But I do think the factions connect to the factions in the game uh, in, in a way that feels, you know, satisfying. It feels like they are paying homage uh, to that or, you know, just drawing directly from it, I guess. Um, and, and on top of that, they do play into the game very well. Each of their, I think, six factions, but each of them has two sides. The A side is a little bit more beginner-friendly. It's just straightforward. Um, not to say that it's you know, worse at all than the B side. B side tends to be a little bit more complex, but you can play with either side. Uh, you can mix and match when you're playing with them. It doesn't matter. And, and they're all fun to play as. I, I tend to like the B side just because they're a little bit more interesting. But uh, there's some cool stuff on all of them. And they do feel different. They do really change how you play. So I think that is a nice touch. And it does, I'd say it's the, it's the strongest connection to the source material. Um, but again, if you don't mind that it's not, you know, doesn't have the same feeling of the, the original game, I think there is still a lot to like here. So if you are looking for a light to medium weight set collection game with a really cool, uh, you know, uh, auction selection system and a great sci-fi theme, then definitely check out Age of Wonders Planetfall. Uh, all right, that's it for me, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.